Okay, so this was going to be a three-part episode, but I'm going to make it into one. Three E's of selecting the best video cameras for fishing videos, equipment, education, and experience. What we've been talking about is equipment. But what is the point of having all that equipment if you don't know how to use it? Once you've selected the cameras you're going to buy, you need to get some training. Do yourself a favor. Go buy a book called How to Shoot Video That Doesn't Suck by Steve Stockman. You know, this guy can take a stinking cell phone and make and, and make videos that are so interesting. Just go buy that book and do everything it says and you won't have any problems getting subscribers. You have to invest in your education as a videographer. You're no longer a fisherman. You're now a videographer. You're now a cinematographer. You're now a photographer. What we call a hybrid shooter. You're gonna have to learn a whole new set of skills that you did not have before. Just turning on the camera ain't gonna cut it anymore. Commit to a higher standard. Whether that's a higher technical standard or a higher uh, artistic standard, that's up to you, but you need to commit to a higher standard of, of production. If you really want people to watch your videos, you're gonna have to learn how to shoot video. Things like keeping your shots short, making sure you have good audio, making sure you can shoot from various camera angles, learn how to do jump cuts, learn how to add B-roll, learn how to add music, learn how to vary your, your angle lenses, and think, get some close-up shots, get some far-away shots, get some high-up shots, get some down-low shots. And no two videographers are gonna be the same because your brain works differently. You're wired differently up here. You perceive the world differently than I do. So your videos are gonna come out looking differently than mine, even though we're applying the very same principle. Here's a principle, rule of thirds, right? Boat's here, I'm over here. Rule of thirds. Your rule of thirds, you might have be at the top looking down. You may think a little different. Well, the second book I recommend is a more of a, is a very technical book, the DSLR Filmmaker's Handbook. This is a, it's a textbook and it's, I believe it's using a lot of film schools. I, I'm using that because it, I want to get into color grading, I want to move on to the next level and uh, it's, that becomes more and more technical. Whereas the Steve Stockman book is more of an artistic thing about this is how video works, this is how to communicate with video, this is how to capture and hold people's attention, this is how to tell a story, this is how to capture the emotion, this is how to capture the action. For me, the next book I want to buy is a book on documentary filmmaking because I want my fishing videos to look more like a documentary than just fishing videos. It, some of you may want to have more of a TV show feel to your videos. Go watch your favorite fishing videos on TV. Look at how they do things. That's another way to learn something. Not everything's learned in a book. Sometimes things are learned just by watching other people do it and you realize, okay, what is that called? How do I do it? Say so you like watching Jimmy Houston. Look at how Jimmy Houston shoots his videos. Copy it. Go do it. You don't have to copy his artistic vision because it is art, but you can incorporate some of the same things he's doing. You know, the way he sets those hooks all the time. Maybe you could do something similar. Maybe you could have a similar sort of, uh, uh, lack of a better word, gimmick. See, me the hat, right? There's a reason I wear this hat. Oh, there's Damon. He's got the hat. You know, it's me. I take the hat off. It's like, who's that guy? <laughs> Put the hat on. Oh, there's Damon. You know, <laughs> Jimmy Houston, he's got the shades. He's got those big hook sets. Well, yeah, that's Jimmy Houston. You know, you know, you know, you, you know, it's, you know, it's Bill Dance. He's got the hat. He's got that big Tennessee hat on. Uh, Tennessee, man. I'm in Alabama, right? Get yourself two or three people you like th the way. It doesn't have to be YouTube. Get your mind off YouTube. It's not about YouTube. YouTube is just a distribution platform. Videography is an art form. Cinematography is an art form. Photography, those are art forms. Find your two or three people who you like a lot and study what they do. Just watch what they do and begin to copy elements of what they do. I like a guy called Andrew St. Pierre White. He's a, what you call an overlander. He basically goes on these big long safaris is what we would call them here in the United States. They're not safaris technically, but these long overland trips in the desert. I really want to have that kind of look on my videos. It's a, it's a BBC quality, uh, uh, D uh, Discovery Channel quality, National Geographic quality documentary. That's what he does. That's what I want to do. Think about guys like Jeremy Wade. You guys seen Jeremy Wade? You guys watch this show called Wicked Tuna? You watch those shows like uh, Deadliest Catch? Those are all documentaries. 
You can actually do that kind of thing, but how do you do it? Well, you can buy some books on documentary filmmaking, go there, you can take a class on documentary filmmaking, go there. You can also watch people who make lots of documentaries and then just copy what they do and go do it. And you can flesh it out. That's after you've done the how to shoot video that doesn't suck. Do that first, then you can. The third E is experience. You can either gain your experience on your own or you can learn by other people's experience. Best is to combine the two. So my experience in creating content goes back to my college days. I used to do a lot, I used to do a lot of bicycle riding. I always wanted to take a Trans America bicycle tour where you literally start in like, you could start in like New York City and you end up in like San Diego or something, California. Right? I always wanted to do something like that. I, I just never had the chance and I never had the money. But guess what I get to do now? I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do back then. I, and I started blogging about bicycle called Blog the Travel Log or something. It was like an old blogger thing. And I didn't know it at the time. But now thinking back, yeah, that's when I really first got started. And then I took up gardening um, and started up my other YouTube channel called uh, Greenhorn Gardening. It's still up. I still do that. I don't do any gardening, but the channel is still up. Uh, that's when I first started learning how to shoot video, started doing podcasting. That was actually a podcast. I did that for a few years and quit that and decided I really wanted to do fishing. My dad loved fishing, my dad made the floats. I said, hey, maybe I can make these floats and sell them. People started buying them. And now we have Black Warrior Lures. But I've been making content for a very long time. So content creation is something you have to develop over time. But you have to have education, you have to, ev you have to gain the experience, and you need to build up the equipment necessary to. And my friends, that is gonna do it for this uh, playlist. I don't, this playlist was only gonna be three and ends up being what, what, I don't know, about eight or nine. I gotta get back to building this stinking boat.